Welcome to all. Myself Sarnia, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE at KS Rangaswamy College of Technology. In this video, we are going to discuss about linear feedback shift register in built-in self-test concept. What do you mean by built-in self-test? This is the general bl block diagram of built-in self-test concept. This is this architecture has uh, two kind of blocks that means uh, test pattern generator and output response analyzer the center portion is named as a circuit under test that is CUT using this concept only we are going to test our circuit that is automatically chip itself test pattern generate the test pattern for circuit the circuit output response is analyzed through output response analyzer this is called as built-in self-test through this concept we must provide a high fault coverage what are the test pattern generation used in BIST in general test pattern generate generation can be divided into four categories exhaustive testing pseudo exhaustive testing pseudo random testing and deterministic testing in this mainly we are focusing pseudo exhaustive testing so under the pseudo exhaustive test pattern generation we mainly we classified four way that is syndrome dry counter constant weight counter linear feedback shift register slash sr that means shift register then linear feedback shift register xr gate concept that means in general the pseudo exhaustive patterns needed to test and n input and m output combinational circuits are derived by using the one of the following methods let's discuss what do you mean by lfsr here lfsr means linear feedback shift register the alternative approach for generating a pseudo exhaustive test set is to use combination of lfsr and nsr in LFSR, the output of the selected number of stages are feedback to the input of the LFSR through an XR network. That means this is the general representation of an LFSR. The a number of stages are n number of stages are connected feedback to the um, feedback to the XR gates and it connected to the first flip flop first flip flop input. This is general representation of general representation of lfsr in general n bit lfsr can be represented by an irreducible and primitive polynomial equation if the polynomial is of degree n the lfsr will generate all possible kind of test pattern except 0 0 0 combination that means it produces only 2 power n minus 1 non zero binary patterns in sequence. This sequence is termed as maximum length sequence of LFSR. This is the main concept of LFSR. This is the general polynomial representation of polynomial representation of LFSR. That is P of x equal to x power n plus P n minus 1 into x of x power n minus 1 plus up to p2 into x power 2 plus p1 into x plus p of 0 into x power 0. This is the polynomial representation of LFSR. This, is, this, this diagram shows the general representation of LFSR. This is the polynomial representation of LFSR. Let's discuss one example example for LFSR concept consider the following polynomial of degree 4 Pol polynomial degree 4 that means x power 4 plus x plus 1 this can be rewritten in the form of in the form of before we discuss the concept of there is a polynomial equation that means here here write written as p of x equal to 1 into x power 4 that means 1 into x power 4 so a given equation given equation equal to x power 4 plus x plus 1 this is a polynomial representation of degree 4 so maximum degree here 4 then on a next degree that is x power 3 here in this equation is 0 x power 2 also 0 but this equation has x power 1 
plus x power 0 ok so that is represented in like this rewritten as in the form of expression that is 1 into x power 4 plus 0 into x power 2 also here missed one term 0 into x power 3 plus 1 into 1 into x plus 1 into x power 0 ok so this equation is represented in the LFSR block diagram that means maximum degree is 4 ok so based on this degree we can select how many number of flip flops needed for our LFSR representation so 4 flip flop is needed for this kind of expression ok from this expression what is the LFSR LFSR is connected with that is every number of n number of selected stages are n number of selected output stages are feedback to the LF, feedback to the LFSR of our circuit through XOR gates this is the concept of LFSR so from this expression we are select the which output stage is connected to XOR gates so here given in the given expression we have to identify identify the output stage of circuit ok x power 4 this is the fourth flip flop output is fourth flip flop output is connected to our XOR gate on, uh, act as a one kind of input for XOR gate also x power 2 is 0 so no not bother about that uh, output stage also x power 3 but in our equation has x power 1 so first flip flop output is act as a input for input for xor gate then x power 0 no need to bother about this uh, this output stage because that x power 0 equal to 1 invariably output uh, that value equal to 1 so for this expression we can select the two output stage fourth flip-flop output stage and first flip-flop output stage is connect act as a input for input for this XOR gates the, the XOR gate output is connected to first flip-flop first flip-flop input this is the representation for given expression from this expression we can generate this circuit generate test pattern for circuit under test initially we assume all the flip flop values are all value is 1 1 1 1 based on this concept this circuit generate remaining test pattern for our circuit under test ok so what is the XOR gate logic both values are same output is 0 both values are different input means it produce 1 based on this concept only it generate remaining test pattern that means 1 1 1 so what is the value here 1 wait this value 1 this value 1 so in this output of the in XOR gate is 0 this 0 act as a input for first stage uh, flip flop so what is the, uh, you know the concept of flip flop when clock pulse is high automatically it generate the input to output with some delay so now value equal to here 0 now this XOR gate input 0 1 1 1 ok this is the next pattern this is the this is the next pattern of this LFSR ok then again what is the output here 0 then 0 then 1 what is the output of this um, combination of inputs for XOR gate 1 so again this value move to here that is 1 move to here this 0 move to here then this 1 is move to here 1 1 this is the next this is the next test pattern for given circuit this is the logic of LFSR ok next we move to next slide this slide shows the LFSR with SR that is this circuit has two separate patterns that is one for LFSR another for SR based on this concept 
also we can generate the this circuit also generate the test pattern with with minimal minimal test pattern but one condition is the when the number of input variables on which any output of the circuit under test depends less than half of the total number of input vari variables this is the concept of lfsr and lfsr with sr this circuit has the five inputs five input combination of circuit that is a b c d e a b c act as a lfsr d e act as a sr so using this concept we are nearly generate minimum test pattern but one condition is uh, uh, output is function of not more than two input variables okay hope understand the concept of the understand the concept of lfsr in bist thank you